remembering what my earliest childhood dream was. When I was a little girl, I wanted to teach. I can remember being a very wee one, and I'd have all the neighborhood children come over and pretend they were my students in my classroom. And I would write on an imaginary blackboard that was somewhere behind me. And I would take a pencil and I would pop the kiddo uh, on the hand or on, the, on their knuckles or whatever and say, be quiet, Jimmy, don't talk like that. Shh, be nice and telling everybody what to do. I liked teaching and telling and um, and I was just, that, that was a huge dream for me. But I would also remember, I also remembered laying on the ground on the wonderful soft grass and looking up at the clouds and seeing airplanes from time to time pass by. And I wanted to be on that airplane. I wanted to travel. I wanted to be somewhere else other than where I was. But needless to say, I wanted to travel to faraway lands because in many of the books that I read as a little girl, people went to faraway places and I wanted to go too. So my early dream was to travel, was to write, was to teach. And I will tell you that by remembering that dream, whether it was to be a fireman or whether whatever that early dream was, how are you acting out that dream today? That's my concern, my question. That's how you begin to look within and to recreate what you want for yourself. So whether you're a woman or whether you're a man, it doesn't matter. Whatever your dream is, how are you living it today? It never goes away. Dreams are always there. Re-establish it in your heart and in your mind and see how you are living it today. Join Pat on her journey. To learn more, look for her video postings on her website, www.pathconnor.com or on her YouTube channel, Pat H. Connor. She is also available to speak to your group, conduct workshops, or attend book festivals and readings. Her book is available in many fine bookstores and on Amazon.com.